New deployment available. Um, crazy dude who wants to learn Xeno stuff, or guy who spouts a bunch of gibberish about the books, who is basically Leandros. Easy choice here. The Killing Jar. Tech Acquisitor Scavola wishes to begin her research into the secrets of the Necrons, and has asked for specimens of the enemy to be gathered from the tombs of Ecropis. Collect Necron samples. Ooh, rewards. An Omnisaya Axe. Wait a minute, don't we already have this? Oh no wait, this has a different machine spirit thing. It immobilizes, okay. A Curatio Claw, heals two to four, and Blackstone. Necron Warriors and Scarabs. Okay, just, what's the other one though? An Arc Rifle, a single target range attack. Upon hitting a target, it turns into a cone area attack. That's interesting. So it's a solid slug, and then when it hits the person, then it goes and like shatters into a shotgun blast. That's kind of interesting. Uh, target has a 50% chance to miss you with its attacks for one round. Ah oh, man, that sounds really cool. I, I don't like this person because they remind me of Leandros, but I like this gun. But the thing is, though, I really want this heal, though, too. Ah! I am torn. I am so Natalie and Brulia right now. Uh, let's do even and odd, because I can go for both. So even would be this uh, skip below. I went odd. Rolled a 15. All right. Leandros, here we come. Uh, Lector Dogmatis Videx has requested the deployment of a sensor servitor to fumigate the tomb of Agrilek and cleanse its spiritual corruption. We need to deploy a sensor servitor and cleanse the tomb. Um, here you choose which tech priest and troops to take on a mission. Add a unit to the Arvis lighter transport and remove. Well. So we get both of you, which are basically the same thing. These are locked. What is this for? I'm trying to like increase to like maybe if we spend blackstone, these are better or something. Oh no no no! This is showing the cost of the blackstone. So I guess troops we unlock later will actually have a blackstone cost to them. All right. Select your canticles. We're not going to select. We're not going to use any canticles. It looks like it's already auto equipped, but we can't use it. I gotta remember we can't use it unless, unless like Kenobi one's about to die. But if Max about to die, then we still won't use it. I called you here, Lector Dogmatis Videx, because your knowledge of spiritual matters and the cult mechanicus will be crucial in dealing with any moral threats on Silva Tenebris. Oh God, no one cares how many words of scripture you know. We're so impressed. Unnecessary use of cogitator power. <laughs> Waste of resources, Videx. Insufficient use. Go to Augmetic Bay for improvements. The Xenos tomb is revealed to us as a great hungry maw that seeks to consume our very purity. Blasphemy reeks from every corner of the tomb of Agrilek. Most poetic. Your thoughts are not to proceed. I shall take my cues from the writings of Archimago's Veneratus Hierat... Hierat... Whatever. Let the stench of cro You know, no, no one cares. Ever since I made the connection that he is the Leandris of this game, I don't even want to see his face. Hello, Robox. Welcome. Uh, the sensor's servitor is deployed at the tomb entrance, Magos. I am ready to send it on its way. Halt, Subdomina! The sensor servitor is a delicate piece of machinery. It is ill-suited to hostile territory. Avalornian... Oh, God, everything he's gonna have a quote? Don't be ridiculous. Every step we take in the tomb risks the lives of our personnel. If the spiritual integrity of the mission truly is at stake, Subdomina Kepra, it is worth the risk. And I assure you, it most definitely is. He is even trying to get us killed. I've already sent a team ahead. I foresaw your emotional connection to your troops, Kepra. If you are ever to be a Dominus, I must show you how to command. My gratitude, Magos. The Xenos corruption will destroy us as surely as the guns of the enemy. 
Very well, his will be done. Is there a base building aspect in this game? Uh, we just went through a screen that shows that there will be upgrades to our ship, which will unlock different units and things that we can bring. I don't know if we're actually building a base though. I think it's all kind of revolving around your ship. It's just like basic upgrade mechanics, it seems like. The winds of change. Okay. Oh, we have multiple paths. Well, let's go south. This is no good, Magos. No good at all. The Xenos corruption takes physical form in this murky fog. Can anything be done? The Noisium Miasma fumes from the Xenos machinery in this area is masking the Servitor's sacred incense. Purge. Power through or pray. Purge the corruption with prayer. <laughs> uh. Purge! Sayings of Archimago's Cortica. Oh, he's doing script again. We get 2 CP. Alright. Did I bring enough torches and holy water? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll see Picard. Magos, shut this down before the enemy are attracted to the den, but take care not to damage the machine. The servitor begins emitting a loud blaring noise, perhaps a form of tampering or damage alarm that has been accidentally tripped. The noise is accompanied by flashing lights and random bursts of extremely pugnant incense. We can diagnose and fix the errant parts of the servitor. The machine must be protected. Destroy the offending units of the servitor. He said that don't destroy the machine, right? Scrutinize. The cohort expected diagnostics to take some time, but quickly notice a cranial probe improperly jammed into one of the cortical sockets. Once this is removed, the servitor's non-standard behavior ceases. Oh, there we go. Right. Cool. Whoa. Warning. Our presence has been detected. Uh, the Necrons are awaking in response to our presence within the tomb. As you travel through each tomb, defense systems will start activating. This increases the difficulty of the mission. The longer you spend in a tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Exploring the depths of the tomb isn't without reward. There are unknown amounts of lost knowledge to be found for those willing to dig deeper. Alright. While traversing this chamber, the sensor servitor crosses a part of the floor that collapses under the machine's weight. The servitor is trapped at the bottom of a shaft of machinery and pipework and must be uh, extracted there. Manual labor. Uh, extort the servitor to overload its magnetic le levitation circuits. Or fashion a system of pulleys and ropes to haul the machine out of the hole. I mean, build the things. Mechanics. Shut up. Uh-oh. We got Blackstone, but that increased the initiative of the Necrons. Uh-oh. What is all this? Tomb's awake level. Okay. Well, this looks important. Oh, hello, Caparia. Welcome. Glyph. A single port designed for a Necron Canoptec uh, creature extrudes from this device. I mean, this looks kind of like an Omnisaya axe. So, that's a good thing? A single port? Oh, we got plus two eight. Oh. Well, we weren't even damaged, but thank you for the heal. Are we already at the end of the mission? Extra Necrons in battle. Oh boy. Kill all enemies. Got it. So what, what is like the orange and red stuff? Is red like maybe a trap? Well, the orange is the CP point generators, right? But I don't know what the red stuff is. It must be some kind of trap, right? Red is bad. Clean, uh, negative effects last one. Oh, right, 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 okay. And then you can move farther. So what is this that has hit points? I have questions. 
We'll just have one servitor for now. Alright, let's move this thing up. Maybe some kind of turret or something? I don't know. Oh, scan. Okay, I'm, I'm clicking on this thing that says scan. Oh, okay. This is like one of the XCOM things you have to actually walk next to the thing. Okay, got it. Now scan. Oh, okay. We got some blackstone. All right. Oh, I see. Line of sight. Which is actually really good to know because we can also have them take the shots for us. But we do have three CP points, so we can probably just murder this guy, right? Well, first let's move over here so we can use our ranged weapon. Plus, this ranged weapon does reveal the target statistics, too. Alright, so they have physical armor. Of, uh, what was it? One? Okay. I want to try and block line of sight, but... I don't know if it's going to be possible. You've used all possible actions for this unit, and there's nothing more that it can do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured out the answer on button already there, buddy. So we can kill that thing in melee. So let's shoot this and see what its stats are. Okay, an energy shield. Got it. Got it. Can I not move? Oh, because we don't have any CP points. So let's go collect the CP point. There we go. Oh, this thing takes a CP to use? Oh, man. Okay, the other axe that we had in the last mission didn't take CP. Aw, oh, nuts. Well... We get a CP if we walk next to this, but I don't think we're going to be able to do anything after that. We can move right back up next to it, but that's not going to do anything. Intern. Whoa. Okay, so that does spawn enemies. Okay, and now we can summon in reinforcements next to our people, so let's do summon one right there, summon one right there, so they can't use the ranged weapons, I guess. Aha! Alright, but we need to finish this thing off for good, so... There we go. Very cool. So, would we collect this on our way through? We do. Alright, so it is auto-collected if we have room. So now we will use the axe. It shreds the armor. Okay. Um, and now we can move back. And then use our gun. Yes! So now we need to just finish that thing off. We move here so we will auto-collect a CP point from there next turn. You're going to move over here. Actually, hold on. Um, Right-click. 
Mm, yeah, let's make you run past this. There we go. So what I'm looking at right now is it's going to hover over this thing to know when we can shoot it. So like right there. So we're going to walk past, collect CP. I'm going to shoot this thing in the face to finish it off. Getting one other CP because we killed it. And we're going to try and scan this. Uh, hello, Smear Knock. Smear Knock, guys. Welcome. Hello, Astor Astora Bro. Uh, I agree. The soundtrack and our sound, all that stuff is pretty cool. I'm, in I'm enjoying this game so far. So we know that this thing will transport us, what, back over there? Um. I'll tell you what, let's just move in a group. Uh, we use Blackstone to upgrade our characters, Mac. Alright, Servitors. Oh. Uh, we don't really need any more people for this mission. Now, there wasn't any more things we could scan, right? No. Can I... Hold on. Can we do... Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Oh, no, we can't. Really? I can't, like, set a specific... Like, XCOM, you can? I'm trying to, like, all the buttons as I'm clicking. Like, holding Alt and holding Shift. Okay. I guess we can't do that. We can't make our own path. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we'll move you back over here so you auto-collect the CP at the start of your next turn. And then... I guess we just move you up. We want to maintain line of sight blocking. So let's move you here. That should block line of sight so they have to shoot our servitor instead of shooting... Um, which one is this? Y'all look the same. Uh, Kenobi one. Whew! You would delay that? I would prefer you not to die here. But if you do, so be it. I wonder if anything happens if we destroy these. Oh! Oh! Okay. Suddenly, that seems like a good idea. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Glad I decided, uh, decided to destroy those. And then we'll use a CP so that we can get a CP. So it kind of cancels each other out, but we get to move this guy a little farther. Uh, Mac, that is. Oh, and after we collect now, we can even move even farther. Okay, so then you auto collect the CP from your next turn. Also, I should be using the servo skulls because they can collect this stuff. Gosh darn it. Collect that. And you have all that movement. Oh, okay, this is fine. This is fine. So we'll move up. We'll blast this thing in the face.
Okay, so it has energy shielding. And then we have enough CP to move up and hit it. Ooh, critical. And then try and block its escape route, I guess. Oh, and it tried to move away from us, so we got an opportunity attack. Ha ha! And we auto took the CP point. Cool. Because it can't fire its weapons in melee, so it had to move away. Nice. That worked out really well. Mission complete. The sensor servitor reaches a location where the air currents through the tomb will take its sacred exudations to every corner of the tomb. Uh, the cohort guards it until it is instance is fully deployed and can escort it back to the tomb entrance. The sensor servitor has been delivered to the depths of the tomb, Lecture Dogmatis. Its sacred incense now permeates all areas of the structure. A positive outcome, Magos. It is right and proper that you see, it as I do, the dangers posed by corruptive influence of the Xenos. It remains to be seen if the tomb is rendered less dangerous for our troops. At the very least, the place is less malodorous. I trust you will continue to consider the alien with the hatred and disdain they deserve, Magos. As we explore this world, remember the words of binary higher. Okay, whatever, Bidex. I care not for your quotes, Bidex, just for your rewards. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yes! We got arc rifle gun! And this thing. And we unlock the uh, cant of the crap because we didn't use the canticle. So now we have that one. Beautiful. Uh, cohorts. Can I ever upgrade my ship? Through here? I don't think we can. Okay. But now we have unlocked this arc rifles. That's pretty cool. So cohorts. Mac of the best mod. We'll get the arc rifle. Instead of this. Oh, this takes two augment requirements. Okay, so you won't be able to use this anymore. That would actually take up all augmentation slots for you. Unless we upgrade you. Hold on. You need more blackstone to upgrade? How much do we need? Oh, I see. So it, needs, it goes boom, 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 boom. Okay. Unlock a unique body part specific to this discipline. That's two two HP max, one physical armor, two HP max and an energy armor. That seems like ideal. Add three to HP max and one energy armor. But they all take the same amount of requirements for augments. What? So we would definitely get this, right? And increase our augment capacity. Okay. So now you have three spots. So you can have the lightning gun. And a fancy cloak. Although really the fancy cloak should probably be used by the um, by Kenobi. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. All right, so you. We got two HP physical armor. This is another torso augment, so this is gonna be like the same, but it's for energy instead of physical armor. Two armor and three movement, one physical damage. Hmm. Uh, hello, Smartita. I do enjoy the game so far, yes. I've only been playing it for two hours, so... Like, I don't know, it, it could go downhill, but initially it seems cool. So this class already has a ton of movement, and this will give you even more. 
There is definitely use in movement in these types of games. The physical armor, though, is kind of like, uh, I kind of want that. You know what? We're going to give you the leggings. There's your official leggings. We're going to give you the Omni Specs, so people will have a chance to miss you because you're going to be up in the front. Oh, I need... Oh, shoot. All right, hold on. Uh... I guess unplug that. Okay. We have 113 left. I don't think we can upgrade it. Yeah, it's going to take 148 to upgrade again. For both of you, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Now we are... Oh. Blue and... Red. I don't know, just change this every time. Alright, mission. So this is still gonna, okay cool, so we can still get the healing claw. Alright, so let's do this one next. And we also get a, a better axe, looks like. <laughs> meep meep indeed. Does increased movement get more dodge or something? Ah uh, no, but like, there could be targets that we want to try and get to that, you know, can do a lot of damage, like snipers and things, um, that we would want to try and... But movement is just typically a good thing to have in these types of games. It gives you more options. So now we got two canicles. We don't got to worry about um, not using them, so... I guess we just freely use them at this point. Uh, Tech Inquisitor Scavola, I asked you on this mission because of your experience with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. And so the heretics of Stygis 7, 8, sorry, uh, can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion equals false. If objection concerns offense, go to different mission. That's like their go to thing is just like, get out of here, Fidex. And leave you free to do as you will? A dereliction of logic, Scavola. Macarion says 16.4. Watch your brother. No one cares. No cares. Silver to numbers evaluation commences. Plus wonders. Plus opportunities. Plus secrets. Rare chance for discovery. Intelligence on Xenos. Must not fail to exploit. The logic of your enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Inquisitor. My emotional cores return only peril to our mission personnel and the threat of the awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on this mission. My role equals gather intelligence, seek truth, return to human comprehension, dictates of Mars retrieval, gather knowledge for the good of all. And how are you to go about that, Scavola? Field operations in person equals suboptimal. Sitting tech priest instead equals optimal. First objective, gather field specimens for study. Location, Tomb of Ecropis. Commence immediately. I don't want to be down there. Potential death, so we'll send these others. Given the reports from the Tomb of Ecropis, there should be plenty of samples in there for you to collect Magos. Of course, but first you have to kill them. My talents equals dissection after the fact. I leave the location, identification, ex, uh, execution to your tech priests, Magos. I trust this will be worth the effort, Scavola. These are no mere labor servitors we are risking in these tombs. These are men and women, fellow devotees of the cult Mechanicus. Agreed, Mag. Okay. Valid point raised. Ensure human corpses are returned as well. Plus opportunity to study the effect of Necros technology on human flesh. Those are people who are sitting in there! And Scavola's like, you know, you have a good point. I need to study their deaths, if they die. Heartless, man. Alright, so we got another glyph over there, so I suppose we should head that way? Speculation. Tombs possess autonomous repair defense maintenance capability, uh, capabilities. For the studies equals yes. Have some collected for me. Acquire. Acquire plus. Ignore. 
I will acquire plus, and the chamber ahead has suffered damage from the shifting of the landscape above. Several dozen tiny beetle-shaped constructs are scurrying about industriously as they repair the damage. Conclusion commences. Scarabs, not individual constructs, but resource of the tomb itself. Whole tomb is form of Necron construct. Commence formulation. Wondrous kaleidoscope of hypotheses. Oh, shower me in that blackstone. Damn, Alyssa. Spoiling green as people? Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so last time this healed. So let's use the other one. Oh! Yes, bathe me. Alright, so Necron Tomb is at level 1. I want to go for the other glyph. Self preservation versus curiosity, conflict unresolved. Desirous of knowing what purpose chamber serves. The chamber head is lined with glowing green cylinders, each pulsing with power. The air is thick and greasy, and arcs of static electricity leap from the cohort's extremities as they approach. This chamber is almost certainly extremely dangerous, but it is the only way forward. We could do caution, study, or shut down. Study. Uh. Observation alone is not enough to understand the function of these energy-hungry devices. In attempting to dismantle one device, the cohort is subjected to a blast of plasma that burns and irradiates them, followed by the cascade of exotic particles that teleports them to a different chamber. They rue the questionable decision to examine these machines closely. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. Opportunity detected. Necron combat tactics. Weaponry. Capabilities illuminated. Study required. Oh god, this chamber shows signs of having been the scene of a brutal gunfight. Two Skatari lie dead with marks from Gauss blasts all over the walls. Salvage what you can from the dead. After all, it's a waste to leave behind. Say a prayer for the fallen Skatari. The cult mechanicus exhorts its soldiers to memorize their losses and examine. Eulogize. The cohort pauses only to speak passages from the cult mechanicus scriptures, asking for the proper passage of the dead to join the supreme intelligence of the Omnissiah. Their determination is bolstered, but they gain little practical benefits. Okay. Listen, pray for the fallen... fallen friends. Hello, Malinor. Alright, so we do have a damaged person, but... Blackstone, though. Oh, bathe me. So we could go all the way back around. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's explore all the rooms. Uh, the game has been fun so far, Malinor. Commence uh, enthusiasm. Acquire at all costs. One of the Necron Warforms remains after the rest of the Fallen Constructs teleported away. It fades in and out of reality as if about to disappear. They wanted me to extract. Grab the Necron for transport back to the Cessus Metallican. Shame. Was anticipating uh, commencement of dismantling dissection experimental dismemberment of Captain Zeno's construct. What? Indeed, Tech Inquisitor. I believe we could have concluded that without such risk to my Tech Priests. Oh, bathe me. One of the cohort takes the Necron by the arm to drag it back towards the tomb entrance. The Necron teleportation procedure is then completed and it vanishes. Apart from the arm the trooper was holding, though not much compared to the entire Necron construct, the arm is taken back for study. Skatari are tools, not friends. I agree. I agree. Necrons reanimate one turn faster. Oh, Jesus. Luckily, we're at the end of the mission. Oh, hello. Okay. So we got a blue thing on top of the red thing. Uh, we need to scan this and destroy it, obviously. So if we... Hmm. Kenobi 1, you have the more movement, so we'll have you... I guess go up here to scan first. 
Mac, you're probably going to go and collect some points. Let's start from down here. Summon one Servitor as a blocker in case it's needed for right now. Alright, so Servitor. For right now, maintain blocking a line of sight. Just stay there. Okay. Scan that Kenobi. <laughs> Bathe me. And then we will try and destroy it. Okay. We'll get it next turn. Um, for right now... Move back here. We'll probably just kill it with a Servitor or something. You know what? Let's do this. We'll use the CP point, but we will auto collect the CP at the end of next turn. I think that's worth it. Although now this is refreshed your movement again. So. Okay, so whenever we click a CP, it, it restores all of our movements? I thought it was only like half movements. For right now, let's just keep it there. Move you up. Collect another CP point. Ah, uh, yes, I. You can name your people, Smirnok. And I have. We'll save the CP because this thing takes two to fire. I'm assuming these are going to be lining up on the bridge. I think that's going to be a perfect time to use this gun. Oh yeah, give it one more turn, and they will be perfectly lined up. Hello, troop! Um... Honestly, I don't think we really need it anymore right now. That may be good enough. Let's delay your turn. Damn, you can move all the way up there. Look at that movement. I had that! We don't know how much damage you did, but we did something. So we're going to spend one CP to collect three. Beautiful. And then that refreshed all of our movements so that we can... Move? <laughs> I guess. It's just like, like, what to do? Let's move you right here. And then activate the Omni Specs. Oh, this isn't like you target yourself. This is targeting someone else. Okay. I see. Never mind. Just sit there then. And then we want to use your gun. What's the range? 15. Okay. So we'll try and use max range. Cool. Not sure how much damage I did. But okay. No! Oh god, they critted you. Still need to destroy this. Oh god. And another Necron warrior. Things are not looking great. Alright, it's fine. We'll summon some more servitors. You will not die up there alone, Kenobi. You will die with friends.
Alright, so that thing is now dead. Um, let's move up here. Oh man, these really want you. Are you healing? Oh. Uh. Right now, I can't even use our weapons, so we're gonna have to collect some stuff. Let's do this. Collect. That will power up our axe. That didn't kill you? Holy crap. All right, then move over here. Now we got three more. And... Hmm... Do right there. Damn, these line of sight things. Okay. You... Hopefully you can finish this. Holy shit! Let's move there so you can get an attack of opportunity on either of them. Oh boy. This thing has to almost be dead. Alright, so you have two physical armor, six health. We will... Probably just use our gun against you. Move you up here. Yes! Alright, so they tried to move away, which gave us an attack opportunity. Alright, cool. Now we need to finish this off before the scarabs uh, repair it. Because I'm assuming they can bring it back. Wants then? It looks like maybe. Hello, Scorn. Uh, this is Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. It just came out today. Mac back up and snipey snipey with the electric shotgun and ah! one damn it! Oh, it was enough though. It is one two ten, so we we can't get really bad rolls, I guess. Circumstances evaluation confirmed disappointing. Necrons employ teleportation technology to achieve post destruction discorporation. Inter um. Where do the remains go? Upon destruction, the Necron constructs vanish, leaving no samples to be collected. 
Take picked grabs of the damage of the Necron weapons. Thoroughly search the chamber for any components that might have been missed. Thoroughly, thoroughly search. So it did level up the Tomb of Wakes level, but we're about to leave this tomb though, right? The cohort is slowed down by the search, giving the enemy the chance to respond to the location. However, they uncover several samples of te technology of uncertain purpose. We got a cure ratio, whatever. Heals two. Wait, are we about to get something just like this from the mission? Hello, Archangel. Uh, totally human knowledge increased. Mission con conclusive equals positive. I cannot say I support your conclusion, Scavola. Beneficial conclusion itemization follows. <sighs> Necron discorporation witnessed. Enemy constructs destroyed less than zero. Necron combat performance evaluated. Chances of function Necron available for dissection increased. What? My emotional cores are returning sensations of frustration and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not there to be risked for the full fulfillment of your desires. Okay. Oh no! Minus 70 Blackstone because of the damage you took. Really? So this one heals two to four, but the one that we found just heals two. But I suppose that we can equip both of them so we have a heal like every turn because they're on cooldown. Oh. Oh. All right, Mac. Upgrade you. Restore 1 HP at the end of this unit's turn. Auto repair. Beautiful. Okay, now we need to reevaluate here. So we got the 2 to 4. We'll put that there. Hmm. I guess that's good. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you can auto scan, basically. Very cool. And you have one more space. I think I'm gonna put. Oh, right, we got the new axe. So this does less damage. Hmm. But doesn't require any CP. And we can only have one melee weapon, right? Crap. Oh, take care, Berg. So do I want the other axe or... Hmm. I mean, so far, CP doesn't seem like it's too hard to come by. But... We'll take the other one. And this doesn't seem to be that great, but we'll keep it on there. And we have one more spot. So we could just like equip a gun, we could equip a heal. Let's equip a gun. Cool. We have 208 blackstone left. We could actually upgrade again. And then like put a helmet on you. Oh, look at that helmet. 
Oh, I was boo. Yes, I was. All right, this seems cool. So mission. What do we got next? A refractor field absorbs five damage to allies in range for one round. Cognitive. Oh, the CP gauge is increased by one. That's pretty sweet. Flayed one in Necron Warriors. Or reveal all enemies statistics in a circular area. We upgrade our servitors and Blackstone. What would we want first? I think we want to upgrade our servitors first. Install Vox casters to dampen Xeno's taint. Ugh, that word. All right, so Flayed One's gonna be new. Haven't fought against those yet. Got three. Wait, I, I gotta remember to use these these cans. All right, floor. The potential for corruption in the tomb of Agrolek continues to vex me, Magos. The spreading of the instance was not enough. I fear not, Magos. The malevolence of the Necron is overwhelming. Observations on the Tech Cosmos, verse 68, and blah, blah, blah. Then what do you suggest? Our progress in the tomb makes it possible for us to install a system of Vox casters in the structure. And what would that achieve? Lingua Technus prayers could be transmitted to the very heart of the Necron's resting place. Our troops would go everywhere bathed in the sacred binary of the Omnisaya. Jesus, this guy. A uh, novel concept, Lecter Dogmatis. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that, Archangel. I have considered your plan, Videx, and a cohort has been deployed to the area. I have personally selected the prayers of purification and translated them into broad spectrum binary. Once the Vox casters are active, the tomb will ring to the Omni Saya's word. I have the Vox caster locations plotted, Magos. I am still uncertain if this is worth the risk to our people. One in possession of unaugmented emotional centers cannot appreciate the benefit of this operation. Gathalamorians 45.7. Above bullets, above blades, care for your soul above all. I wonder if they had a lot of fun making a bunch of fake verses. Your concerns are noted, Kepra. But you have your orders. Actually, a character in this game is pretty similar to you, Caparia. Look at that. That's you, kinda. Our master's voice deployment number three. Whoa, that's the objective is right next to us? Oh, multiple objectives. Okay. Alright. Ah, what is this vile mix of flesh and machine? Is this a form of Necron in its infant state? What has Scavola got to say? Unsurety statement loaded. Unsure of life form progression path. Diagnosing possible outcomes. Signs of degradation, deformed segmentation, and uh, psychological deformities. Possible solutions. Infant, disease, parasitic life form that represents formed of ripped flesh. Should I continue? That's enough, Scavola. I believe we are not the ones to diagnose Necron health, but instead be their executioners like that. I am mostly concerned for my troops' morale. There have been reports of Skatari disappearing in these tombs, and I believe I now know why. Uh, sure, Scorn. Hey, Rig, how's it going? Skatari lives are less than architect. Damn. Uh, STT, STC fragments and missions. Man, poor Skatari. How supportive of you, Redditus. Did that say survive for three rounds? Yeah, survive for three rounds. Okay. Well, we got Necron Warrior, we got some CP, we got this thing that I want to try and grab. We'll probably send uh, Kenobi one over there to go grab that. Mac will stay home and shoot the flayed one. 
Okay. No evil will take Hey, Roy, thank you! Well, at least over 15 months. You heard from a reliable source that flesh is heresy? <laughs> it is in this game. Thank you for the support. Alright, so we are moving you way over. Actually, if we delay our turn, we can have Mac move over here, collect a CP. Actually, you can just collect a CP. There we go. So now you can move all the way over here and scan. Look at that movement! Plus six movement because of class and the item. My god. Oh, bathe me. Lise, thank you for getting us up the score. Thank you, Lise. That's very kind of you. Uh, we're probably going to want to destroy this thing, so let's do that. And then go pew pew pew. Oh, wait, let's move away, and then we can shoot it. And then that should lower the. Yep. The tomb level. Nice. Beautifully. I love it. You. Is there any more CP to collect out here? Yes, there is. Go collect that. And then we're going to move you to collect this. Beautiful. So now we have enough to fire the gun, but you're not going to be close enough this turn, which is okay. Stay there. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, collect the CP. Alright, we're definitely summoning some servidors here. What's our movement? Like four? I think we're only going to summon the one so far. Good thing we did, because that thing moved first. Only one damage, that's not bad. This one may hurt though. Oh! Servitor, no! Damn it! Necron dubstep. <laughs> Kinda, of, yeah. One damage. We'll try and have it miss us. I didn't even get a chance to heal that poor servitor, man. Oh boy. Um. Shit. I was hoping that would kill it. It did not. Can I explain to you magnets? What the fuck? Oh my god, their movement. Oh my god, there's another one. Jesus! Now it wants me to kill everybody? Holy hell. As the light dims. Holy crap, Swanny. Shadows grow ever darker. Yet from the cinders. The powerful Thank you, Archangel Sweaty. My emerged. God, the donation of ten different subs. My God, Jesus. Thank you for the gifts there. Thank you for the support. Um. Okay, so we move over here, so we can shoot this thing in the back. And it didn't finish it off. Gosh darn it. Collect some CP.
You support the Emperor? <laughs> Thank you. Oh man, what's he even do right now? Alright, go back and hit it, I suppose. Crit it, so I guess it dies automatically on a crit. Yep, that's what this is going to tell us. Okay. Oh boy. So I guess what we would want to do is move next to this guy, but if I do that... Then I don't think Beast will be able to, or uh, Mac won't be able to shoot the gun. Because it takes two CP to do that. Although I may be able to move in a way that I can get a CP. So you know what, let's do this. Because this will make sure that we get an attack opportunity on this thing. Oh wait, you're being blocked by the Servitor. Crap. Oh wait, 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 this thing came back up. Okay, cool. So now you can fire the gun. Nice. All right, well, we did that. That gun is the best gun. Cool. You stay there. There's our opportunity attack. One damage. Wow, they can actually fire in melee? Thank you, Lisa, for the donation. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, the Emperor. Holy shit, that thing's dead. Alright, so now we want to move away. The range of this is 8. Let's move here. Come on, finish it! Ugh. Damn you! Huh. Okay, so I can shoot this thing at point blank range. It will do some damage. I guess we can do this. To ensure that that one dies. Now this one is dying, it looks like. Okay, that was worth. Right? And then we want to heal this. Yeah, repairs. <laughs> Thank you, for the wah. Well, good thing we healed this. Holy crap. Summoning another servitor up there. Oh my god, they absorbed the damage. Let's go grab some CP points. And then from here we can fire our gun at this thing. I think this should refresh our movement, right? No, it didn't. But if we fire our gun at him?
No. It's where, like, sometimes, it, like, our CP... I don't know what refills our movements. Because, like, sometimes we get our movement back after we get CP. These are the canticles available for use in this mission. Canticles can only be used once per mission, so keep in mind. Oh. Hmm. So we'll put the CP up here. And this thing has four health. Uh, let's use a canticle. Let's say the Cant of Crafts. And then we'll move up here. We're gonna get three plus physical damage. So hopefully that goes past its armor. Nice. And we downed it, so now we get some more movement back. I'm really confused about this. I don't know how we oh whatever, it's fine. Um This looks like something we could scan, but it doesn't say scan next to it. I guess we just kind of sit over here. And that thing is on cooldown. We do need to finish this thing off. But like the servitor can do that. There we go. From here we can shoot the other one that's still alive. Cool. That lighting gun is so cool. Sayings of the Arc Magi, Appendix 4. Such sweet music as the chats of binary that has no tongue to lie. Ensure the volume is sufficient, Magos. Blackstone. The first Vox Caster unit is in place. It immediately begins transmitting the complex binary of Lingua tech Technus. I hope one of the troops we get in this game are just like generic uh, Imperial Guardsmen. That would be great. But I don't know if we will, because this is all like tech priesty stuff. Leave the volume the same. The prayers are loud enough as it is. Turn the volume up to max. Let the enemy tremble before his word. Increase the volume by prayer. Shall this place be cleansed? I'm assuming these are going to be increasing the threat level of the tomb. Volume up to maximum. Crank that shit up. As they say in their language. Principal Logica 22.4. Let his word be exalted to the 11th degree. Are we only get 2 CP for that? Oh, okay, I guess. Um... Let's go on a side room. We get Skatari, which is just Mechanicus for soldiers. Aw, oh, I, I want Imperial Guardsmen. Oh! One of the box catchers being transported by the cohort begins emitting strains of music from an unknown source. The music sounds like it is from human origin, but it could interfere with the binary transmissions. Seek the source of music through examining the local news sphere. Broadcast and admonition. An admonition to the entire Skatari force demanding the music be shut down. You young whippersnappers and your damn loud music. Shut it off. Transmit a stream of counter data. I will seek this music. What is this rock and roll? I shall chastise the offender in person. Max, that's all you do. You just. Uh, Necron initiative decrease. Okay. Then buy a game about Guardsmen? <laughs> I have bought many games about Guardsmen, okay? Er, and this one is not one of them. This still seems pretty cool, though. The cohort's com uh, communications pick up transmissions played in a binary adjacent Xenos language that can be interpreted as a distress signal. It is originating from the next chamber. Approach. A ship that Agrolex fleet destroyed, perhaps? It sounds just like the Void Admiral to record his last moments. Oh, just, yeah. Uh, last moments were replayed for his amusement. We got Blackstone. Okay. Let's go up to the glyph. Extra Necrons in battle. Let's go for a heal this time. Nice. So 
so that would be the end of the mission. Let's go explore the other rooms. All right, the VIPs. I forgot about that system. Troop, or not troop, sorry. Um, Archangel? That's pretty new. Oh, foul, could this be a place of Xenos worship? You have no data on their religious practices, but I retrieve Pharaoh Dictate. Okay, whatever, of course. This chamber contains a large slab of metal that resembles an altar with the images of uh, glowering skull like Necron faces. Do we shatter them? Sequester, defile. <laughs> shatter the faces. Mensa Elementalis consulted. Non standard material detected. Pro uh, properties logged for later study. Uh, we lost the CP? Alright. Let's go over here. That's a new one. I don't know what this one does. Let's do it. Okay, a single port and it injured us. Don't click that image again. Confirmed. The Necron tomb is trying to defend itself. Clearly our mission is working. Okay. A swarm of tiny scarab-like constructs emerges from the apertures in the walls and begins scurrying all over the Vox caster, chewing through its casings with their steel mandibles. We must purge them with flame, melee weapons, or protect. Bathe in fire! A sound strategy, Magos. Yeah, yeah, more, more of your stuff. Uh, Awakening increases by one, but we do get two CP, which I don't even think we need a CP. The final box caster is installed. The binary prayers flow through the tomb, filling both real space and the local news sphere with the words of workshop exalting the Omnisaya and the Creed of Mars. That's it, huh? I thought we'd have to do a fight. The unholy layer of the alien now rings to the words of the Omnisaya. More scripture. The Necron can strike at our minds as well as our bodies, and we must protect both. In this, Lector Dogmatis, I agree with you. I hope you're of the same mind in other matters too, Magos. Our exploration of Silva Tenebris should be executed with a view to the destruction of all traces of the alien. I have not yet decided if we should commit to such extremes, Fidex. I feel multiple emotional prerogatives as well as logical analysis, all competing for primacy in my neural vaults. Our mission here may not be as simple as you think. Just be ready to make the right choice when the time comes, Magos. We call the words of Fabricator General Plutonus. Yep. More scriptures. Alright, a mission. Dang, I wish I was hoping we'd get another battle so that I could heal, so we wouldn't have to use that much blackstone to heal ourselves. Look at all that blackstone we just wasted on healing. Reveal all enemy statistics in the circle area. Blessings on the Omnisaya. Gain 3 CP. Ooh, nice. Plus 5 a movement for one round. Another CP. Or another canticle. Cohorts. Mac. Um, disciplines. 2 HP, physical armor, 2 HP, energy armor. Let's go with that. And... Hmm. You don't really get hit often, plus you also have auto heal. Probably should give you an axe. Maybe. Or we can give you another heal.
Oh, but I see this has no CP points. Okay. Whereas this does. I could, yeah, we could use two ranged weapons as well. I mean, we could do so many different things with this system. Hmm. Sure, we'll go with double energy weapons, that's fine. Pew pew! Can you ask me a question, Mac? Not anymore. Um, do we have enough to, yeah, we do have enough to upgrade you. So let's do that. Machine spirit attacks deal plus two damage. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Okay, so now you have another point. That hasn't really done much for us. We got that, we got that. I think we should probably put... Oh, this also takes a different slot. Oh, okay. So put that on yourself. And we already have a gun on you. I guess we can do another gun. Look at that shit. <laughs> pew pew! So you can swipe twice, hit once, and heal yourself. None of which which takes CP. Which is kind of cool. But that also means that Mac can be kited out to have even more CP. Oh, you already do, because you, you can use three for a full action right now. Okay, nah, that's fine. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, right, right, CP gauge increase, which would be pretty sweet. A Volkite Blaster takes three CP, single target ranged, deals 9 to 11 energy damage. And with a Machine Spirit, you get a free use of it, but it takes two spots. Uh, Sanctus Canister, unit gains plus two damage, plus movement, and critical chance until its next base attack for one. That seems pretty cool. Uh, but we'll just kind of go in order here. Collect Necron Destroyer specimen samples. Get another CP gauge. Plus, this is kind of neat, too. Alright, boom, boom. And so now we have level two. Okay, so they have one additional hit point, and they have a taunt now. Become the pri priority target of enemies in range and gain armor for one round. So that's what they get the, with their level two. I'm assuming maybe their damage increased as well, maybe? Was it one to two before, now it's two to three? Nice. Nice. They can taunt. Perfect. Uh, we're going to... How do I switch? There we go. Let's do the three CP points. That could be useful. I mean, that could still be useful too. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, we'll keep that uh, in here. Okay. Nice. Reports received from Subdomina Kepra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm? Yes or no? You like me? Check mark yes or no. Correct. There have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a new Necron Warform. Reaction equals delight. Squam, you say no? Aw. Damn. Pray, Tech Inquisitor, explain. Enemy Warform. Provision Designation Destroyer. Antigrav Technology Confirmed. Uh, some stuff. Antigravitational Technology is in an area on this place. Okay. And you would be famed throughout Stages 8 for exploiting this technology. Oh, I see. Statement agree Agreement. <laughs> you want to be known. Concentration of Necron Destroyers is playing merry hell with our Skatari units in the Tomb of Acropis. They are highly mobile and heavily armed weapon platforms. Taking them on is dangerous in the extreme. Reason to observe them. Our troops possessing sus such technology extrapolated to conclusion. Greatly increased battlefield effectiveness. I was raised to see that as dangerous thinking, Magos. Put such piety aside for now, Sodomina. Is the cohort ready to advance? They are. 
I applauded the likely location of the destroyer units. They are somewhere within this complex. The fortune of Mars be with you. Indeed, be with us all. Hmm. Alright, let's go here first. So this is Blackstone, right? Oh. Bathe me in your light. Transmission origin equals Necron. Xenos language study opportunity. Study. Yes, FedEx, we all know you're a party pooper. This chamber is bathed in a constant data flow transmitted by the Tomb Zone Awakening protocols. This transmission must be of uh, Necron origin. Alright, well they wanted us to try and find out, so we'll find out. Words of the enemy. Conclusion string follows. Infinitely arrogant, obsessed with the mechanisms of the cosmos. Lord Sarigon, object of veneration. Fascination. So we got CP, but their awakening level increased. Damn. The Lives of the Logic Saints, Psalm 61. A mortally wounded Skitari lies on the floor of this chamber, his torso laid open by Gauss fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight and left behind when his unit fell back. It is likely the Skitari were attacked by Necron destroyers. This Skitari might have witnessed their tactics up close. Administer medical assistance to the trooper. Damn! Though the trooper's badly hurt, quick and dedicated medical intervention by the cohort tech priest stabilizes his vital signs. Though he can yield no intelligence for now, he will eventually fight again. The cohort has lost precious time intervening, but are provided with a rare example of survival against the odds. So what I got for being helpful to our fellow Skatari is Necrons are better. <laughs> Damn it. Great. Hello, Cheery, how's it going? Mission relevant opportunity. Combat data on. Provisional designation destroyers acquire. This chamber is the site of a skirmish between the unit of Skatari and the Necron destroyers. A few corpses badly mauled by Gauss fire lie around a hurriedly erected flak weave barricade. We can pray for the fallen, examine, or search the fallen for useful supplies. I need some supplies after all this. Rummaging through the corpses is a grim and demoralizing business, so they get more awakening. We get a CP point. Okay. Listen, sometimes you gotta rave, or rave, <laughs> rob the graves, not rave the, the graves. It's a whole different thing. Let's go through, hmm. We'll go up, over, and then there. Must have a rave on the grave. Whoa, this is in green. Does that mean more Blackstone? That seems to be about the same we usually get. This area of the tomb of Acropis is covered in hieroglyphics interspersed with depictions of Necron constructs, most often engaged in war. Some of the images resemble the Necron destroyers with their distinctive anti-grav halls. Examine the pictographs for any suggestions of weaknesses in the destroyer war forms. Uh, examine for battle tactics and weaponry. Search the pictographs for evidence of Necron philosophy and beliefs surrounding the destroyers. Uh, look for the weakness. Damn it. Every inscribed battle scene suggests the destroyers are more heavily armed, solidly armored, and mobile than any of the other numerous Necron war forms. Such a blunt illustration of this particular enemy's capabilities does not hearten. Uh, so we got nothing from that. Okay. That's fine. Direct request, bring it to me. End direct request. <laughs> the cohort finds a sarcophagus containing a Necron destroyer that seems inert. It may have malfunctioned and failed to respond to the tomb's awakening protocols. Alright, it said take it, so we'll take it. The co- Oh god. The cohort pries open the sarcophagus, but in response to their actions, the dormant Necron teleports away. The sarcophagus emits a barrage of harmful radiation and deafening noise, forcing the cohort to rapidly exit the chamber. This has been really bad for us. 
Okay. That's the one that I think damages us. So we get the Blackstone. I don't think I've ever fought a battle at level 4 before. Oh boy. Intrigue. Most interesting. Not all forms are humanoid. Logging data. Centurion form. Plus gravity defying. The Xenos show that they are more alien than we originally thought. Text of the oiled cog states that some stuff. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, but what are these iron men? Unclear. This text was logged many millennia ago. There's no other reference to them. Keep focus, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot, and we must ensure they do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be alert and focus. Kill or destroy targets. Okay. So all we have to do is kill this thing. I'm sure there's going to be others that are spawning. For sure. We'll probably summon some servitors next turn when we're closer to this thing. When in doubt, always give for the green choice over the red choice. Words of wisdom, boo. Okay, Kenobi one. We can't just rush up there and start wailing on it. I guess. Why not, right? All right, let's go. Pew pew pew. It has no armor whatsoever, it looks like. We use a servo to grab a CP. And then we will go in close for our melee weapon. Okay. And now we will use a CP to Get away. <laughs> we'll get another CP this way. And we'll auto collect that next turn. And we will heal ourselves. Pretty good turn, I think, for Kenobi. I really do like, or would want to scan that. Right now, though, let's just collect some CP. And you don't need to heal, so in turn. Oh, God. So now we should be able to summon some servitors. All right, cool. This one is probably going to die. But let's do it. Taunt. Get you some armor. Hell yeah. Now whip it. Yes. Whip it's good. Whip it! Alright, you're probably dead, but that's okay. You did good. Oh, it's moving. Oh, damn! You just murdered it! Killed by a thing that has no brain! Take that, destroyer! Wow. Holy crap.
Alright, let's murder this thing. Um, you're there. We're gonna go pew pew pew. Move up to collect the CP. Technically, the destroyer doesn't have a brain either. Listen, Elu, if I wanted the technicality, I would have gone to the death. Okay, Elu? <laughs> Hello, Minus, how's it going? Murder that thing. Beautiful. Now we want to scan if possible. Actually, hold on. Let's just get that out of here, because the reanimation is really quick right now. Oh, but that Necron's over there. Mm. Mm, damn it. Let's go grab two CP points. Actually, we're already at max, so that'd be useless. Um, just do this. Oh, that gave us more movement. Oh, what the hell? Seniors are in there. There we go. So we're going to move you up. Actually, I kind of want to heal that servitor. Hmm. Delay. Oh, wait, no, we're at the end of the round. Okay, never mind. Shit. All right, let's, um... Move you here. Okay. And then we're going to... Yeah, I think we got enough for this. So we're going to shoot this corpse to make sure it doesn't reanimate. We're going to heal up you. There you go. Now you're all fixed up. And then go keep the view. Nice, and then hide behind this thing. Oh shit. This is fine. It's totally fine. Scream out, be heard. And then whip it. So this thing should have already been taunted, right? So it's gonna try and move past this guy. I think. Oh holy shit, they instantly reanimated. I figured there'd be at least one turn. Holy crap. Holy shit. That instant reanimation though. Pew. We're not done yet. Pew, pew, pew. Damn it, one damage. Ah! Crap. Oh, oh, that refilled your movement, though. Sweet. Okay. Hold on. Let's grab a CP. I'm trying not to take any damage on our tech priest here. And then we will use that CP to move back here. Or maybe we move over here, so that way it doesn't cost us anything. Because we use the CP to move, but then we're going to gain one at the end of the turn, so it's like we, you know, didn't spin any at all. And that gets us away from this guy, so we don't have to worry about the damage. Oh my god, and that refills you some more... Wow.
Cool. All right, that thing's gonna be taken care of with the servitors, I think. Let's go collect CP. Oh wait, no, a new round's coming up soon. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go shoot you. Beautiful. And then we're going to shoot you. That shotgun blast, so cool. That is such a cool weapon. Unfortunately, I can't finish this off though, which is unfortunate. Um, just move right there. Good thing we got rid of the destroyer. Very good thing, Prince Damon. Very good thing. That could have been really disastrous. Oh, shit. Hello, oh, Deathfish. Okay. Murder this thing. Or not. It's fine. What in the hell? There we go. We got it. Oh, take care of Scorn. Very well, friend. This movement is so amazing. All right, so we're gonna want to shoot you. All right, you're dead. Then we're going to shoot this thing. Nice. And then finish you off. So cool. I kind of, I, I like this battle system. And I like that only the tech priests are allowed to use the CP. That way they really do stand out in combat as opposed to these servitors that, you know, can't. Um, probably should just stay in a group. So we'll just move over here. Actually, no, no, no. We'll just stay here. It's fine. You are going to be healed. And then we are going to... Oh! I don't have enough CP for that. Crap. I can't fire the big gun. I can only fire the small one. Oh, well. No need to summon any more servitors. Uh, so this thing is going to go before a tech priest. So we're going to move you up. I'm going to do the taunt just to give it armor. And block line of sight from this to our tech priest. And the others are going to hide for right now. Because I want this thing to get hit. And even though we taunted, the actual taunt wasn't in range. And then we get to move uh, Kenobi pretty far. Actually, hold on. Let's do this first. Grab some CP with the servo. And then we move up. And then we go pew pew in the face. Pew! And then we get some free movement to move up even more. And then exit! There it is. Pretty cool. 
Cohort withdraws from the tomb, having experienced the prowess of the Necron Destroyers firsthand. If nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the stark danger these Necron Warforms pose. Actually, we didn't, because it didn't even shoot at us, right? No, I, I think we killed it before it even got a shot off. So I don't really know how strong they are. Anti-gravity comprehension index. 3.9% projected beneficiary equals Stygi. Adeptus Mechanicus. I think it just got caught in saying basically like, um, I'm gonna become famous. I mean, this is for the Adeptus Mechanicus. I am focused on matters much closer in space and time, Scabola. Retrieving Tech Acquisitor Statement on, of Purpose. To perceive the grandeur picture, to strive to acquire and understand for the benefit of all mankind. Be that as it may, I am more interested in how your studies will help our mission on Silva Tenebris. Platitude mode. <laughs> Trust in the scientific method, Magos. Platitude mode off. 